For your request, you can put the head in the box. Yes! Hey, what's up, you guys? Charlie Miss Prime here doing another SH Figure Arts review on the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers SH Figure Arts Pink Ranger figure. This review is brought to you by ToyNewsEye.com. And I've got to give a big thanks to Bandai Tamashi Nations for making this review possible. Please click the description below for their like page on Facebook. And if you're trying to pick up this figure, you can find it at Big Bad Toy Store. Big, big, big. Get your big, badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Again, Bandai Tamashi Nation's killing it with these Power Rangers figures. Absolutely love this one, as I do with the rest. I don't know what else to say. They're just awesome figures. Let's take a look at the packaging, and then we'll look at all the accessories. The packaging of the figure isn't really anything new, but looks great as always. I like the front of the packaging over here. At the top left, it says ages 15 and up. Nice picture of the figure on the side. I really like this foil SH figure arts that they have going on here in blue. In the back of the packaging, it shows more pictures of the figure in different poses. You get option parts, molding, movable. So like all the other figures, we do get this operation manual over here. It shows all the interchangeable hands, weapons, and everything. So Pink Ranger does come with a pair of fists, which is very nice, and they have these lines sculpted in the back and everything on the gloves. We do get a set of these gripping hands over here. We do get a left hand that has this open palm kind of pose going on, and we do get a right hand with this judo chop cha. We get a left hand with another gripping pose, which is bigger than the other one, and this is more for the power bow. And then we get this last right hand over here, which comes with the arrow attached to it, which looks very nice. I like the silver paint applications, very sharp and pointy, very cool, nice point at the end. She also comes with some familiar accessories that we've seen with the Red Ranger right here. Like, for instance, we have the Blade Blaster, which looks great. Again, nice paint applications. We've got that gold eye. You can see the teeth right over here. Just like with the Red Ranger, you can put the Blade Blaster in the holster over here, so that fits in there nicely. Just got to give it a little shove and there it goes looks pretty cool and you can pop this off if you want to and the thunder slinger she comes with is the same thing that came with the red ranger as well again just an awesome piece a lot of detail in this but my favorite accessory that she comes with is the power bow this is beautiful I just really like this fine line work this pink going around it is just very very clean even got some silver right over here the handle looks great this is beautiful uh, the sculpting and everything like all these lines are sculpted here I'm feeling them with my thumbnail so nothing's just painted on I really like this a lot even on this side with the red and black very very cool and as I had mentioned before she does have that one hand that's specific for this bow and you just stick it in her hand like that and she holds it very very well I really like the helmet for the figure it looks great just like all the other ones it's made out of a harder plastic as opposed to the rest as you can see the pink is like a lot more flat matted color over here where this is a lot more shiny I mean it is a helmet so it should look like that one thing I will say is I noticed that she has a little bit of a smirk I don't know to me it looks like she's smiling just a little bit on the other figures they are not smiling at all but again, very nice paint applications, very cool looking helmet. I think this is perfect. I gotta mention how consistent the color pink looks throughout the different plastics that the pink is applied on. For instance, like it looks like this plastic right here on her bicep is just molded that way, but the pink is definitely painted on this helmet over here and it's painted on the white section over here. And I think it looks very consistent. We don't get any paint shading or anything like that throughout the figure, but the paint apps are very, very clean and nothing to really complain about. I really like how they sculpted her body though. This is the first female Power Ranger figure that we're seeing from SH Figure Arts. I really think they captured this effeminate look very, very well. You know, you can see the hips coming out a little bit more. Uh, she does have the thinner shoulders, so it does look very effeminate. I mean, you can tell that she has boobies. You know, I like that. There is some indentation in here, so she does have boobs. It's very small and it's hard to see, but there is a pterodactyl in there. I like how the gold, black, silver, and red all look. Very nice paint detail. I really like what they did here with her skirt. You can get her in the splits. You can do all kinds of poses with her. This is our articulated right here by the way. The skirt has this cut right here so you could split this apart so when you move the legs sideways like that it doesn't hinder any articulation. Same thing with moving it all the way forward. I think that's great. I like the wrinkles sculpted in it. That's very cool. Gives it a nice realistic look. Same thing on this side of the figure over here. Very nice. I really like what they're doing here. The boots look great. Everything is fantastic. She does not have the butt plug that we're used to seeing. It's all the way up here so she poops out her back. The articulation on this figure is just as awesome as it is on all the other Power Rangers figures her head can look up that much it can move down pretty far as well you get a neck pivot 
too, and it can rotate side to side. So you do have the ball joint kind of thing going on on the head, and you do have a neck joint, which is great. She does have these flaps right here over her shoulders that allow for hiding some of the joints. So you can see if I zoom in, there's like these, uh, she has this like shoulder pivot over here, and just like on the other figures, it does cover it up as you can move it around. So I think that's great. You can move it forward, you can move it outward, you can rotate over here, you can pivot all around. That is awesome. She has double jointed elbows that move all the way in like so. Her wrist moves side to side and you can move them down and up. You can rotate around to move it the other way too, which is great. She has a great diaphragm joint over here. So this bends forward and back very well. Rotate over here and pivot side to side. Her waist joint actually turns side to side, has a pivot and you get some crunching action at the waist as well. Her legs move all the way outward so you can make her do the splits, which is great. See, I'm telling you, this skirt thing is awesome. I really like how they did this. Look at that, you know, getting her kicking all the way forward with this skirt. And it does have the pivot thing where it can move up and down. So that's very cool too. And whoa, she does have camel toe. Huh, didn't see that coming. But anyway, she rotates over here at the upper thigh. And you can get her to bend two times at the knee. And her ankles move side to side, down, up. Beautiful ankle pivot, and she does have toe articulation, which is awesome. Pink Ranger stands just under five and a half inches. And here she is compared to the Red Ranger, which I think the scale works perfectly. She's a bit smaller, very nice size compared to the Red Ranger over here. I think these figures look great standing next to each other. And here's the Pink Ranger with all the other Rangers that we have so far. Man, you get one of these things, you just gotta get them all, really. I'm not just saying that, I really do mean it. I mean, look at this, this is an amazing collection. I'm very happy with the Pink Ranger, even though she has the added skirt, no limited posability at all. Very fun figure to pose around and everything. I like it a lot. Totally recommend it. It's available right now. Big Bad Toy Store. You can get it on pre-order. Hope you guys liked the review. Please subscribe, like, favorite, leave a comment, and I will catch you later. Peace. Kia! But it has this cut right here. Oh, crap.